peeps. Okay, so I've been uh, radio silent for months. Uh, a lot going on, just haven't felt like videoing. Could focus and get my thoughts together. Just, um, yeah, this one might be a long one, so stay tuned. Don't switch. Um, I'm looking off to the side because I actually made little notes for myself so I'd remember where what I was talking about or just touch on everything um, these last couple of months have been just the darkest I've experienced since day one um, not even related to cancer just uh, side effects from medication so we've discovered um, and I've just led to a lot of anxiety and, and just issues and, um, just haven't felt like posting my usual kind of upbeat stay tuned videos. And then I realized, well, that's not even why I started my channel. I started this to document the entire journey, uh, the, the highs, and the lows and I know everybody loves the highs because it makes them feel better when they see me doing good and happy and good but uh, that's not real um, it's part of it but it's 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 not real it's there's lows too and I started this to uh, I wanted to share God's glory in the highs and in the darks and the lows because he's there too uh, and, and the lows happen just as much as the highs do. Maybe not quite as much. It's definitely an ebb and flow. And usually when I'm in the lows, that's when I go silent. And I should share those too. Because somebody else who's in the low might be watching and thinking, why aren't I doing that good? You know, where if I share the lows, somebody in a low might be thinking, hey, it's relatable and it makes people, I know for me, the first time I was sick, YouTube was my life saver because I would watch all kinds of videos and I stumbled across a couple people going through what I was going through and watching them share everything made me feel better. So that's, that's what I, that's what I'm going to be adding to my channel now is the lows too. And uh, these last couple months were definitely low. Um, I, I, uh, but here we go. Uh, so it started um, end of November, just with lots of, how do I say this in a YouTube correct manner? Lots of Southern border issues, front and Southern border uh issues uh that were really really painful like really bad and i it's uh uh like taking morphine bad like just uncomfortable i explained it to my husband as shoving a hot wing mm -hmm. um i'm trying to remain um pc and good for youtube and if there's kids watching <laughs> um, like taking morphine, trying, uh, it's dryness. My body thinks I'm 80. So there's a lot of atrophy and dryness and anyone who's a woman who's watching knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I, in, in everything I was doing was actually making things worse. Uh, and I was telling my doctors that it was worse and, uh, they, they, they were like, just keep doing it. It was like, a, they gave me an estrogen tablet that was supposed to like not affect my treatment because it's not really absorbed into the bloodstream, but it can help with natural, it can help my body gain back some of its natural youth. Uh, but it was just, I would have the worst painful flare ups after a couple days on this. And I missed Christmas and I missed New Year's and by January 2nd I had had enough and I really was so sick from all the drugs and all the lack of sleep and not being able to really eat because you're just drugged up and 
I really figured I was gonna die. I was like, if I have to go through this much longer, I am going to die. I've never felt that before. I've never allowed myself uh, to think that before. So my husband looked at me and said, you need to tell them exactly what you just told me. Like I was going to the ER that day and he's like, you need to tell them exactly what you told me. Uh, so I went in and I did and I forced them to examine me and they still were like, well, maybe it's bacterial. Did one more shot of like an, uh, like an antibiotic in the area and uh, it, it kind of worked, but then gave me the worst yeast infection of my life. I'm going to say that right on YouTube. Uh, so I did my treatment for that and stopped everything. After that, I just quit doing everything. I was like, if everything I'm doing is making it worse, then I am going to stop everything. And this is part one. You know what? I love you all. Uh, and that's kind of where I'm going to leave this part one. And then I'm going to make a part two. Uh, because I know people can't sit for 20 minutes at a time. So I love you all. Stay tuned for part two.